you all it's privateer uh, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to uh, Walmart right there Aldi's if you have it near you these were is that? <coughs> excuse me uh, tomato paste these were like 30 some cents a can I think these were under 50 cents I can't remember it was 40 something but I can't remember same thing with the mushrooms this is <coughs> this is a chili starter the mushrooms canned mushrooms I know some people are gonna be like ick but whatever I like them uh, sweet corn uh, 47 cents the whole potatoes 47 cents the Dakota Great Northern beans <coughs> excuse me these were I believe 38 cents along with the pork and beans were 38 cents the sliced carrots uh, 47 cents a can uh, fresh like whatever the cut green beans 47 cents a can diced tomatoes 47 cents a can tomato sauce 47 cents a can this was a little more expensive. I want to say this was like, matter of fact, hold on, let me pause this. That was a dollar fifteen a can for the Chipotle's. Uh, all right, move that out of the way. This was, I think, like a dollar fifty. It's a uh, raspberry vinaigrette. Uh, these. Uh, Give me a second again, pardon me. These were a dollar eighty-nine a piece. It's a pound of sausage. Uh, the bacon, where are we at? Bacon. I know I saw it here a second ago. Pause again. Sorry. It was three bucks for some bacon. Uh, country style pork ribs. You see it? Four dollars and sixty-nine cents. That's so, uh, what, one point six eight pounds. Um, I know this looks funny with the lighting, but uh, where are we at? This was seven bucks. This was a little more expensive on the list of stuff. This was six bucks for uh, stew meat. Uh, this I think was like two dollars maybe. Tomatoes were forty cents. Or no, sorry, 40 something cents a pound. This was a half pound, so you're talking 20 some cents for three tomatoes, uh, Roman tomatoes. Cheese, under two bucks. This was like seven dollars. It's Aldi's version of emergency. Seven bucks as opposed to the real emergency version is 11 something. So you're saving money there. Uh, these are like you know two dollars and something or three dollars for this same thing for this one um, these were a bit more expensive these were like four something a piece this was eh, like five something this is the uh, Aldi's version of a cliff bar these are there's what four I think five ingredients in these uh, let's see ingredients for the uh, it's dates peanuts water and sea salt this one, dried apples, almonds, sorry, dried apples, almonds, dates, walnuts, water, contains 2% less of uh, raisins slash cinnamon. Okay. These are like 250 or 350 a piece. Uh, the Aldi's version of the breakfast biscuits, the Belveda biscuits. You know, get outside of your comfort zone on food with the sense of you know you gotta have name brand no you don't I mean these things these things are just I like these things these things are the bomb man they're perfect little snacks they taste great they're like I think dollar fifty I think what was that pause again all right sorry they were dollar ninety nine a piece okay you get five of them it's twenty cents no sorry forty cents a piece that's not bad uh, two dollars and some change for the thing of whole milk. This was like a dollar seventy something. The grape jelly, I can't remember what that is. I mean, yeah, the thing's right over there, but I'm tired of pausing it. But anyway, this 
under two bucks. Now this one, this one was like 250, but I don't care. I like strawberry. Uh, these were a dollar 79. These were actually 20 cents cheaper than the Aldi's brand that's made in India, I believe it said on the thing, but this made in Texas. It's cheaper and it's made in this country. And yes, I bought myself some foo foo bath salt stuff because I'm older and I got sore muscles at times. So that's that. Uh, again, uh, this, uh, the broccoli was, I think, like $2.69 for a big thing of broccoli. The eggs were a dollar fifteen, I think. Like three dollars for the peaches. The bread, two dollars for the bread. This was under two bucks, I can't remember, but it's uh, green onions. Hand soap. It's three bucks for that. What is that? It's a uh, fifty-five or fifty-six fluid ounces. Three dollars for fifty-six fluid ounces of hand soap. This was ten bucks for the. Uh, you know, uh, dishwasher pods. No, I'm not some dummy that's gonna chew on it. You yeah, eat a pod, dumbass. Anyway, everything together. For me, this is probably gonna last about two weeks. You know, aside from the canned goods, that's obviously gonna last a little bit longer, but most of this is gonna last me about two weeks. Other than, oh yeah, something else too. Uh, $1. fifty, I think, for a hundred count ibuprofen probiotics this was uh, uh, not, uh, ten dollars for this thing it's 30 probiotics for ten dollars um, you want vitamins again if you can get to Aldi's go for it man they're they're a lot more affordable and they got good food not to mention if you go in there and you get some of their chocolates that are made in Germany have mercy, those are good chocolates. Taste better than most of the stuff that we all grew up with. Now, that's my roommates, so nobody give me no hard time over some wine being back there. But anyway, all of this, 152, I think. $151.14 for all of that. I mean, you know, Think outside of Walmart. Now, granted, Walmart does have all your other stuff, right? All the all the stuff, the, the, the TVs and the garbage that you don't always need to buy. But for groceries, all these. They're just, I mean, if I were to have gotten a full thing of milk, a, a full one-gallon thing of milk, I think it's like two fifty for a gallon of milk. Uh, you know, the eggs are $1.15 a for a 12-pack of eggs or a dozen. I mean, come on, man. That's that's the place to go for groceries when you're looking for alternatives. Anyway, y'all have a blessed day. Privateer, I'm out.